Good afternoon, YouTube. Kind of off-topic video today. Um, just got the idea of doing this because there's not a lot of videos on YouTube for this topic. And I'm going to talk about boot knives today. Uh, going to be a short video, I promise. <laughs> um, you know, and I picked this knife up. This is a Gil Hibben um, kind of Expendables knife. It wasn't in the movie Expendables, but um, it's modeled after, it's basically a shrunk down version of the knife that was in the Expendables movie. Um, I opted to get this because it is a boot knife, or they claimed it's a boot knife. Um, it does have the boot clip that's been riveted to the leather. And as with uh, most of the Gil, Gil Hibben knives I've seen, the quality is always there, the look is always there, and uh, the sheets always have exceptional quality. Now, um, hindsight, if you're looking for, I still would have got it, don't get me wrong, but if you're looking for a boot knife, why don't you think about a few things uh, that are pretty important if you are in the market to get one. Now, um, depends on what kind of boots you wear uh, will will dictate what size knife you get. Now, this is a 10 and 5 8 inch knife, call it 10 inches, call it 11 inches, um, and this is way too large for a boot. Uh, now, you might be saying, hey, I don't, you know, Fat Cat don't believe you, you know, and this is kind of the, the, the impression I had when I looked at other reviews, guys saying it's, you know, too big for a boot. I was like, yeah, you're just whining. Um, but you know what? I stand corrected. You know, this is way too large for a boot uh, with the way that this is designed. And so one thing I want you to think about, there's not a lot of boot knives out there. If you are going to get something that's over, in my opinion, six inches, I, I, I make sure that you pay attention to where the clip is on the knife. And the crazy thing about this, with all the boot knives out there, I haven't seen really any boot knives uh, that kind of have solved this problem. And this is to me, guys who are making boot knives just make the boot knife and they're not actually trying the boot knife and testing any boot knife to make sure that this is actually functional. Uh, so my gripe with this and with anything that's over six inches is that where you place the clip determines on whether or not you can walk. Now I have a cowboy boot here and not everybody wears cowboy boots. Uh, this is your standard size cowboy boot. You know, I don't know if they make cowboy boots that are extra high, and they might, uh, but this is pretty standard. If you're gonna buy you know, a set of cowboy boots, this is pretty much the height of the boot you're gonna get. I don't know the measurement offhand, but the standard Laredo boot, right? Pretty much this is what you get with all men's boots. Um, now, without your foot in the boot, if we go ahead and clip the knife in there, it's perfect, right? I mean, pretty, pretty nice, pretty well hidden. The problem is with this is that this is not only a large like nar large knife, it's like a thicker knife, um, and I don't mean length large, I mean, again, thickness. Um, you have a lot of metal, it's pretty solid. Uh, this really digs into your, into your leg, but still not a problem. Comfort's not always an issue with people. The real issue with this is you can't walk when you put this on. Now, I'm not gonna demonstrate this, but I am gonna refresh myself and throw this in here. Uh, with this in your boot, if you want to try to walk with this, not only is it extremely uncomfortable digging into your ankle, uh, no matter where you put this, whether it's on the inside of the ankle, um, on the inside back might be a little bit better, but you're still not engaging. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys where this is engaging the clip. You're only getting about that much out of the clip. Again, yeah, you can do it, but we would really like to see that this thing engaged the clip 100%. Uh, you don't want this thing falling out, you know, when you're walking, then you look like a jackass. Um, the issue with this is just that it's really too long of a knife to have the clip where they're placing it. This is great for a belt, but in my opinion, even if this was something uh, that really, no matter what they're doing with the knife, you can move this clip down. Uh, this would have been a perfect knife for a boot in this length if they just would have brought the clip down to about the center of the knife. Whereas most of the handle, and I believe it's called the, I think the pommel, um, is outside of your boot or right at the top of the boot. Um, if this was in a situation more like this, this would be absolutely perfect. It would still be very comfortable. It would only be kind of rubbing into the side of your leg where you have more muscle and meat. Um, you're not getting around your bony ankle, right, where things can dig in. What's nice about a cowboy boot, they all have kind of the pull-on uh, loops. And if this was clipped right here, this is absolutely perfect. The cool thing about that, too, is if by moving the clip down here on a boot knife, um, you know, you can basically tuck this on your waist and just have the knife up quite a bit higher, um, which to me would be great because when you're wearing a short jacket, this would even be more concealed. Um, you know, I think that having a knife like this would be an exceptional knife, just having the clip in the center. And what's crazy about that um, is if you look at knives and boot knives, go to Amazon, go to Bud K, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, I have yet to find a boot knife 
uh, that in this size, or really in any size, that has the clip towards the center. Now, I understand that there might be some reasons why they might say, oh, well, that's going to be, you know, a little bit, uh, maybe, too, you know, off-center, or maybe you're not getting, you know, all the weights kind of more towards the top. But really, if you have a good clip on there, and with your jeans on, you know, depending on what kind of jeans you wear, I mean, I don't think anybody's wearing super baggy stuff with, with, with cowboy boots or boots. Uh, but... You know, that would work perfectly, you know, just having the ability to adjust this. Um, even if they wanted to make this, you know, this is actually just a slot here. And they could very easily have done something where even adding two clips or even adding a double um, slot here, maybe an extra slot in the bottom with a maybe a screw type rivet where you can move this yourself if you want to have it towards the top or have it towards the bottom. Uh, giving people the option for where you mount the clip would be absolutely fantastic. And again... It's something that you just you really wouldn't even think about um, unless you've owned a boot knife before or you've experienced or you've you bought something of this size. And again, uh, most guys either you wear cowboy boots or you wear like work boots. I mean, this you couldn't. This is not a boot knife for anything other than like like th like thigh highs or or like um, you know hip waders. Um, you know, again, this to me is really just a belt clip uh, and, and it's not functional as a boot knife. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you are in the market for, um, you know, a boot knife, I think that if you are, a, you know, a guy who likes guns and likes to, you know, be protected and you're an outdoorsy kind of guy, uh, you know, I'm always carrying my, you know, my concealed and I, you know, I, I hate using the word EDC. I hate that. I hate those videos. No offense to anybody. I absolutely hate EDC videos. Um, it's like, dude, <laughs> I just... I just don't overthink that kind of stuff, right? I'm not like, I don't need three flashlights and, you know, four four knives with me. You know, I just have a nice knife and a gun with me, and I'm, I'm pretty good. Common sense is wallet and keys. You know, it's not easy. You know, I understand we all carry that every day, but it's not something you got to make a video about. You know, but again, to each his own. I It's just not my style. Um, watch, I'll do one. <laughs> but, um, you know, again, I, I think it's pretty cool to have an, a, a boot knife. Um I actually have a old school Smoky Mountain toothpick I got when I was in Tennessee in Pigeon Forge years ago as a kid. And it's about yay big, it's pretty small. and has the same style clip. That boot knife fits perfectly in a boot. It, it doesn't come down too far. And again, that's about a six inch knife, um, absolutely perfect size. And there are a lot of six inch boot knives out there uh, on Amazon. There's a Smith & Wesson I saw for about 13 bucks with like a nice plastic or Kydex sheath. That one looks like it'll be perfect. And just so, uh, since I got you guys here, um, let me just see Boot Knife and Smith Wesson. Because this is like one of the most popular ones that pops up here. They upped the price on this one here a little bit. It was 13. Yeah, they upped the price, damn it. They have box and clam. I don't know why. I, I think if I don't know why the box version is cheaper. Usually the clam version would be cheaper. I think clam just means it's wrapped. There's no box. It was twelve something, but anyway. Um, so this one here comes with a sheath, and this is all right. So this is well. Again, this is a shorter knife. So uh, if you look at this knife, although it is only a two and a half inch, two point seven five inch blade with a six point two inch overall length. Where you look at this, the, the boot clip is right where I'm talking about, right where the pommel is. But keep in mind that this is a much smaller knife. But this is probably something I'm going to buy because this is more functional as a boot knife. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can pick this one up as well. Uh, again, super cheap. I mean, $16.99 is awesome. Uh, this one here is done in like a flat, dark earth. But that clip is right here. And I just find it amazing, a, 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 an amazing knife manufacturer and designer like Gil Hibben wouldn't have thought to have the, you know, the belt clip right, or, or the boot clip right here, bringing the handle up out of the boot. So, um, and now that I think about it, you know, I, I know I'm doing this video and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this is, I haven't found too many, but um, let me just look at what else they got here and see if, see if that's kind of something that's pretty common uh, with boot knives. Yeah, see some of them here, you can't even see, they don't show you the back of the sheath. Uh, the Smith & Wesson ones do. This one here is kind of like, yeah, there's not a lot of boot knives here. Uh, here's a boot knife here. Here's a cheap one, 23 bucks. This is about a 6.8 inch overall length. Again, no, no picture on the clip. Um, so I, like I said, guys, here's another one here, a boot knife. Clip is way towards the top. Um, Here's a Rothko Raider boot knife. 
So again, some of them, I, I, I apologize, I, I misspoke there a little bit before I actually really looked at this. I just got this in the mail today. Uh, there are some that have the clip down low and they don't have this big piece of leather in the back. I'm not sure what you'd call this. This would be normal, like the spot that goes on your belt. Um, a lot of them are just straight across and again, the clip's down low. So come on, Haven, re fix this because uh, this just should be advertised as a belt knife. It's not a boot knife. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you're in the market for a boot knife, something to think about before you buy one, make sure you get one that's actually going to work for your boot. As long as you get something, again, if overall length, six and a half, six inches, say six and a half inches, if the clip's up high, that'll work for you. Anytime you go over that length, make sure the clip is level with the top of the sheath, not on top of the sheath. Uh, that won't work as a boot knife. So anyway, guys, hopefully helpful. Um, I'll put a link to both these, the Smith & Wesson and, of course, the Gil Hibbon knife. I still really like the knife. I'm still going to keep it. It's pretty cool. I'll just probably just order another one for my boot. Um, drop me a question. Drop me a comment. As always, guys, have a great day. Subscribe to the channel and take care.